we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. You are wonderful. Continue praising his name for what he has done for us. We worship you, we thank you, Father, we thank you, Son, we thank you, Holy Ghost. We adore you this morning. We thank you, Father. Thank you, we thank you. All that we want to say is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life, thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life, thank you, Jesus. Maharabasi and Diri Mahabri, Iandara Bahataya Rabahan, Diri, Iri and Dararabasi and Dabri, Makarabahan Daraya, Ian Diri Masaya, Haya Katayan Diri. Ian Dibri Maharaba Sayan Dararabarabaraba, Kirian Darabaha Taya Bayan Dara, In Diri Mahabri Masayan Diri Bahan Diri Ian Diri Masayan Diri Bahan Diri Bahan Diri in this service, this morning service, God's hands, that God should come and take control of everything that we are doing this morning. First service and the second service, those who are coming, we are committing them into God's hands. Those who are even afraid to come to God's presence because of COVID-19, we are committing them into God's hands. Let's pray. Mahabra, Sian Darabahande, Irian Darabasuha, Tayan Diribaha, Baha, 
Father, we commit this service into your hands. Holy Spirit, take charge, take control of everything that we are doing in the name of Jesus. We commit those who are on their way into your, your hands, Father. Take control, take control, take control, Father. Those who are even afraid, Father. We pray for courage in the name of Jesus. Mahara bahandi, yanda bre, masi yanda raha, kiri yanda bre, maha tayandi re re re, kiri yanda bre, masuha tayanda rabaha, kiri yanda raba suhandi bre, mara, kiri yanda ra mahara basu tayanda raba, indiri aba kabra maha, kiri andi re 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 masu yanda rebaha, kiri yanda bahaya baka kaya baya. In the Ridima Suyan Dararabaha, Irian Dararabarabarabahan Darabahan, Dibri Makabri, Ian Dibri, open your mouth and pray. Maharaba Suyan Dara, let's pray, especially those who are afraid to come into the presence of God in this auditorium. Let's pray for them. In the Ridima Saha, Irian Darabahan Dibri, let's pray against any fear in the name of Jesus. Ian Daraba, Habra, Hadarabaha, Irian Dabri. Masatayan diri diri diri, kiri anda raba suyan dabri mahara, kiri anda dabri mahara bahan darara bahan diri, kiri anda dabri masutaya, kiri anda raba ya baha bayan diri diri, kiri anda diri bahan diri masutaya. We are in the presence of God. We are going to worship. I want you to prepare your mind, your heart. This morning, we're going to worship. Maharaba Suyan Debri, Makarara Bahan Debri, Ian Dara Bahan Debri, Maharara Bahan Debri, Ian Debri, Basuyan Dara Bahan Debri, Mahabri, Maharara Bahan Dara. We worship you, Maharara Mahan Debri, Masuyan Debri, Erian Debri, Mahan Debri, Mahan Dara Bahan Debri. Kiri anda beri mana raba su, ian ni ri 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 mara mahan de 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 de. Kiri an ni ri ri man di ri di de de masu ian dara bahan de de de. Kiri an ni ri 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 mara bahan dara basu ian de 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 mahan. Ian dara bahan de 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 makabra mahan de 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 masu. Kiri an de de mara bahan dara ba. We worship you, we adore you, we adore you. Come on, worship the Lord. Open your mouth and worship the Lord. Let your heart, your soul worship the Lord this morning. Greatest, our Lord God. Sing with me. To be great is mercy. Is mercy is over. Oh.
He's wonderful. Hallelujah, we worship you, Master. We give you, 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 we your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace. We worship you. Shall we resume our seats? 
kick him. You have every cause to worship him. He's wonderful. During the lockdown all over the world, there is no day that I heard that somebody gave a testimony and mentioned the name of Muhammad. There is no day that I watch any video on any of the social media platforms and I saw somebody giving a testimony and mentioning the name of Buddha he's wonderful if you are here this morning acknowledge him and say you are wonderful you are worthy oh Lord you are Going to praise God. Hallelujah. Every 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 Every
Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we want to proclaim that uh, as believers, no matter what the circumstance, we are not fearful. Okay, we are bold and we declare it this morning. So as we sing, if you know how to sing, you sing along with us and let us make this bold declaration that we are not fearful, we are not slaves, but we are bold and we trust that our Lord is able to do it. Amen. 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 You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fear are gone. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Oh, oh I am a child of God. Born again, I've been born again into a family. family. Your blood flows through my veins. You know, by the arms of the Father, yeah. I am surrounded by songs of deliverance. 
I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, I said praise the Lord. It's a joy to be back to church. And we give God praise. Hallelujah. You know, church gives a different environment. The fellowship is good. The fellowship is very energizing. And the fellowship is very comforting as well. It's good to be back. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'm taking a bath in the cleansing wave. And I've trusted in Jesus the mighty to save. My heart is so full, is so full, is so full. Oh, I've taken a bath in the cleansing wave and I've trusted. Jesus, the mighty to say, Oh, my heart is so full. Oh, it's so full. It's so full. Oh, my heart is so full. Beloved, in a short time, I'm trusting God to speak to you on something I've titled, Standing on the Firm Foundation. Hallelujah. We are in what the president calls abnormal times. We are not in normal times. Beloved, the effects of COVID has been unsettling. It has threatened everything that we have known to be normal. You and I know how we jump and dance in this place. Today we sit very sober with face marks in our faces. But in the midst of it all, we know that our God is in charge. Hallelujah! My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. People of God, wherever you may be listening, COVID has brought real fear into the hearts of men. Sometimes it is not just the levels and the figures that we listen to. But it is also the commentary that people run on it. And how everything has changed. 
A lot of people have had to lose their jobs. People have lost revenues. People have lost relations. People have lost things that they held dear. And in the midst of it, the heart is wavering. Our hearts are fluttering. I am here to give you back what Jesus said to us. He says, let not your heart be troubled. Hallelujah. He says, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. In this scripture, Jesus is laying a foundation, a solid foundation for peace and comfort for his followers in view of the afflictions and the persecutions that they were to face. The heart is, in most times, running in all directions from all the things that we hear. Our hearts can be troubled, anxious, concerned, bothered, worried, disturbed, trembling, and our hearts become fearful. Our heart condition sometimes is a reflection of the realities that we are facing. But today I have come to suggest to you another condition that I would urge your heart to be in. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about a man, David. And theologians have said that next to Jesus, the scriptures cover more of David's life than any other man. Apart from Jesus, the scriptures cover the life of David more than any other man. He is known to be a man after God's own heart. Yet his life was filled with similar ups and downs and he faced trouble, persecution. Just as we face today with COVID. In spite of all of this, the man David writes something in the book of Psalms, Psalm 57 and verse 7. He writes and he says, My heart is fixed, oh God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Beloved, I want to suggest to you, let your heart be fixed. Tell your neighbor, let your heart be fixed. So my heart is fixed, oh God. My heart is fixed. In the midst of the things that want to draw my attention away from God, my heart is fixed. My heart is fixed, oh God. I'm standing on this sure foundation. The Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous hand do? My heart is irreversible. You are the God of my salvation. You know how to save by many and by few. And nothing can change the nature of God, even not COVID. Hallelujah. His heart was settled in a manner that was irreversible and irrevocable. David was calm. He was firm. He was happy. He was resolute, knowing that God will come through. I want to suggest to you this morning when the central axle of a vehicle is secure the steer holds right when the central axle of a vehicle is not moved and is not shaking that vehicle will go straight and in this case we are standing on a sure foundation who is the God of all creation who is the creator of the heavens and the earth? When COVID came, people began to pray and others were questioning, why are you praying? But the Bible tells us that call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. There are things we don't know. COVID does not have a cure, but we have a God who knows the answer to COVID. Hallelujah. And so David's advice is that my heart is fixed. Today, I want you to be resolved and to trust in God. 
David could say his heart is fixed because he knew in the time of the wilderness when he was at the backside of the mountain. He was a nobody. He had no pedigree. But God found him and brought him and anointed him. By God's help, he was able to kill Goliath. By God's help, even when the king and the army of Israel pursued him and sought to kill him, he was preserved. I pray this morning that irrespective of what is going on, the challenges that agitate your heart and your mind, may God's provision and protection reach out to you. May you be held secure. May you be held secure on this sure foundation that cannot change, that cannot move. Hallelujah. There is also one reason why David could say with certainty that my heart is fixed. He says in Psalm 57, verse 1 and 2, he says, Be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me. For my soul trusted in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings, I will make my refuge. Until these calamities will overpass. Or be overpassed. It says, until these calamities pass by. Oh God, I will trust you until COVID passes by. I will trust you irrespective of the things in the news, irrespective of the commentary that people run, irrespective of the doubts that people are throwing around. Is church even important today? Is the church making any difference today? We will keep trusting you, oh God. Until COVID is over, we will keep trusting you because we know that you have the answer to life. You have the answer to all the issues of life. It is in you we live and move and have our being. We are nothing without you, oh God. And so today we will stand on that sure foundation. Hallelujah. Nothing will move us until the disaster has passed. Until this calamity is overpassed. Blessed be God. Our calamities are matters of time. The calamities are matters of time. Hallelujah. But our safety is a matter of eternity. Our calamity is a matter of time. Time will take it away. But our safety will run till eternity. Hallelujah. Because we have a God who knoweth the ending from the beginning. Oh, Charles Spurgeon says something that I love. He says, when we are under divine shadow, the passing over of trouble cannot harm us. When we are under divine shadow, may you dwell under divine shadow and may this calamity pass over even as you stay at the feet of the almighty God. Isaiah 26, verse 3 and 4. Isaiah says that thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusted thee. He said, trust ye in the Lord forever, not for a time. Forever trust ye in the Lord. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Hallelujah. Our God is our shelter from the storm. Because of time, I would not go into the book of Mark, chapter 35 up to 42, where the Bible says that Jesus asked them to cross over and the storms raged. And the people asked, do you not care? Do you not care? Master, do you not care that we perish? Do you not care that we perish? But the master stood up and said, Storms be still. COVID has brought storms. But today the master said, Storms be still. Hallelujah. May every storm in your life be still. Hallelujah. 
And may your heart be fixed on God, our foundation. It is only in God that we will find help. Psalm 46 and verse 1 to 3. He says, God is our refuge and strength. An ever-present help in time of trouble. Therefore will we not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake. Our trust is in the Lord. Our trust is in the Lord. Our trust is in the Lord. Because we know one thing of him. That he will not fail. Whatever your burden is, whatever your challenge is, I suggest to you today, even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will not fear any evil. Because God is with us. God is with us. May the peace of God, that which surpasses all understanding, may that peace dwell with you. May that peace dwell with your household. May that peace carry you to your workplace. May that peace carry you to every place you travel to. And may that peace be your portion today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. And we want to believe God together. That God in the midst of the challenges... You are our help. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking. Oh, on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the crowd is sinking sand. All of the crowd is sinking sand. My will is built on. says that all other ground is sinking sand. Our sole foundation is Christ. We want to pray. We want to pray. We want to thank God for the word that he has given to us. We want to tell God you are our sole foundation. We have no other place to go but in your presence. Father, let your covering and your protection be upon your people. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. E kalara baba raba berianda. Nele brozi ondo lorianda iraba be. E kan nele brozi anda raba raba ba. E la raba baba 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 raba be. Lele nele brozi anda le dianda iraba ba. E kara baba baba raba berianda. Rai mazuri anda e briando lorianda. Rai mama baba 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 raba be. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, I want you to put your hand on your chest. When troubles come, the heart flutters. When trouble comes, the heart drifts. But we want to declare to God, our heart is fixed, oh God. Our heart is fixed, oh God. Our heart is fixed, oh God. Because you are the God of our help, shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus. 
Nelebrosiane, Rama Baba 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 Master, we thank you this morning. We thank you because the Bible says that you are our God and our help throughout all generations. It is by your help and grace that we are gathered together. And this morning we lift up our hearts to you, O oh God, the God of our help. In the midst of the adversity that faces the world, in the midst of the trouble that your children go through, we lift up our eyes to you, O oh God, and we declare that our heart is fixed. Our heart is fixed. We will trust you, the God of our help. You are the beginning and you are the end. It is in you that we live. It is in you that we move. It is in you that we have our being. Like Jehoshaphat, Lord, we declare that our eyes are on you, O oh God. Preserve your church, Lord. In the midst of the storm, preserve your church. Let not our faith drift. Let not our faith wither. But Lord, strengthen us and keep us, O oh God, trusting day by day. We give you all the glory. We pray that if anyone is in any distress, this morning as we call upon your name we pray that Lord you would meet them at the point of their need lift up the one that is broken resuscitate the one that is almost giving up and Father bring hope to the one that is almost despair and we pray in the name of Jesus that we will come together rejoicing in your presence because of the sure victory that you will win for us. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Please, shall we rise for our offering? Glory be to my Lord. Hallelujah, glory be to my Lord. Glory be to my Lord. Yo ya 
the Lord. Hallelujah. How are you in the Lord? I can see you're doing very well. And I've always been telling you that it looks like all the places I've been to, church is one of the safest places to be in terms of all the protocols you can talk of. So tell your friend that church has started. Amen. And let's come together because sometimes you can join us by Facebook or any of the medium, uh, any of the media we use, when you are in house, the feeling is not the same. Hallelujah! So I'm telling all of you who are joining us by Facebook, if you get the opportunity to join us, make sure you are here. And then we have our second service from. This one is from seven to eight. Our second service is from nine to ten. So make sure you join us for our second service. A few announcements quickly. We have very soon a wedding coming on. Hallelujah. Amen. And as we often say, the date is the 13th of July. The year is 2020 in the year of our Lord. There is a wedding. And this wedding is between our sister Abigail Che and our brother Wisdom Akahiho. Akahiho. Hallelujah. If they are in the house, they can please present themselves. Amen. Now, this is our sister Abigail. Our brother, I believe, maybe will have the opportunity of joining us for uh, another service. We will introduce both of them to you. As we are introducing them to you, if you have any legitimate concern, my office is opened. Through my phone, at the office, everywhere. Now, because of time, I work 24 hours. So you can call me anytime, or you can come into the office anytime, if you have any legitimate concern. If there is no concern which forbids the matrimony of these two, we want to kindly ask that we continue to bear them up in prayers. Hallelujah. 
that come the 13th of July, they'll be smiling all the way. Come the 18th, sorry, 18th of July, they'll be smiling all the way. Amen. God bless you. So that is the date for the wedding. This week is a communion week. And tomorrow, the Presbytery is having a prayer meeting. We are doing it by Zoom. And then from Wednesday to Friday is a prayer and fast. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fasting. Or say it with joy. Amen. So uh, nobody is uh, 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 allergic to fasting. I know by the grace of God you can shed a few stuff. But more importantly, we can spend some time before the Lord in fasting. So from Wednesday to Friday, we shall be here praying together. And then those who can join us online also, I believe, will be doing so. I want to encourage all those who have no excuse to be at home. Unless probably you have some underlying health condition. Or maybe due to uh, some reasons that you need to stay at home. If you don't have any reason, please join us here. Amen. You can have space for yourself. And then we fellowship together. Don't let anything put you to flight when you can have the opportunity to fellowship with us. God bless you for making it for service. We want to bless our elder. The Lord has used him to minister to us, encouraged us, and lifted our faith. Amen. Shall we humbly be on our feet as we bring this morning's service to a close. Father, we give all glory and praise to you. You are our dwelling place for all ages. You have given us life and strength, and today you have brought us together before you. You have blessed us with your word. As we go into the coming week, we pray for strength, we pray for your power, we pray for your might to lead us. Guide us every step of the way. Hide us under your shadows. May we never walk in fear, but in faith. And let us continue to trust you and hold on to your word. And we know that when we walk in the light of your word, you will guide us with your power. We commit every member into your hands, those who are here and those who are not here. And we are asking that you continue to lay your hands on us. Whatever trouble any of us is going through, you are the rock of ages. May you cleft for us and let us find a hiding place in you until this calamity passes over. We know that once we have asked in Jesus' name, you have done it. We give all glory and honor to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now before we share the benediction, we want to tell all of you who are watching, if you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, maybe you are joining us online. It's an awesome opportunity to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior. If you're ready, all you do is that you say after me, that Lord Jesus... I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come and stay in my heart. Make me a child of God. I want to walk with you all the days of my life. So help me God. If you pray this short prayer with me, quickly let us know. We have other administrators joining us backstage. And please let us know that you've accepted Christ through this medium and then we will engage you and assist you to grow become a strong christian amen and now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding continue to rest and abide with you may the grace of the almighty god be with you and the hand of god continue to hold you in the midst of these storms may god fill your mouth with laughter all the days of your life in the name of god the father the son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Shall we go in peace? God bless you. If you've not filled the form we gave to you,